seems we have a screw in our tire. My trailer tire, I have a 13 16th deep well socket. This guy right here will be your best friend. Probably have to stand on it to break the bolts loose. I had to. Um, and I have to get an adapter to, to drop it down to a, uh, a 3 8 So this is a half inch breaker bar, okay? I have to have an adapter to take it down to a 3 8 So I'll accept my deep well socket. Um, my deep well socket unfortunately is a 3 8 I need to get a half inch, um, but it'll do for now. You wanna make sure and loosen the bolts first before you let air out of the tire or anything like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do to loosen the bolts, and I'll let the air out of the tire, um, put a jack underneath it before I do that. So I'll loosen the bolts, put a jack underneath it, okay? Get it real tight, let all of the air out, and then I'll raise that jack up just enough to slide the tire off, and I'll put all my stabilizers down as well just so the camper doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna put my stabilizers down just to give it a little extra support. You don't want your camper going nowhere. That's plenty. Alright. I'll find my culprit here. Oh, right there it is. So, we just did a video camping in the Grand Canyon, and we were there quite a few days. And the last day, I noticed the trailer tire was getting low, and I went over there and inspected it. And sure enough, there's a screw in it, but we had to go. So I aired it up, and uh, we got to Page, Arizona. Um, it's not leaking any air out, so and it wasn't a really far drive, so I was okay with driving with the screw in it. So we made it here. It hasn't lost any pressure, but I'm still taking it off. I'm going to get it up there and get it patched. Um, I know it's a very slow leak and it needs to get taken care of. It's very dangerous to drive with a screw in your tire because that spot can actually heat up and pop your tire. Um, I know it wasn't hot. The roads weren't hot yet. Um, and we didn't have too far to go though, so I was okay with it. So, I got this off. I'm going to take it somewhere and go get it patched. The longest part of this job was going to Walmart and waiting two hours for the tire to get patched. It only cost 10 bucks, but I had to sit there for what seemed like forever. When you put your nuts back on, make sure to do it in a crisscross pattern, kind of like a star pattern. Do the top first, then the bottom, then the left, then the right. Tighten them all down finger tight before you let the jack down. Um, the whole purpose of doing this is to keep your tire lined up when it presses against the drum. So, you know, and then you're not going to strip any of your screws out as well. Um, especially if you're doing it with an air tool, make sure and finger tighten these nuts beforehand. Now, once you have your jacks down, you can go ahead and put your socket on and tighten everything up all the way. Once again, use that star pattern and go crisscross with it just to make sure. You'll notice in the video, I'm using my foot to really tighten it down. The best way to do this is to use a torque wrench. I don't have one of those on hand currently, so I don't advise doing it like this, but if you're in a pinch and you need to, just step on it with your foot and get it really tight. Don't over tighten and break it off or anything like that. Um, once again, the best way to do it is to have a torque wrench and to know the specs for your tire and trailer. Thanks for watching Mountaintop Adventures. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other videos. God bless and happy travels.